it's really important to understand that in order to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. And a lot of people don't get that um, or maybe don't want to accept that. When you're trying to create enough of a deficit where you are going to lose weight, your macros go down, right? They have to. So when your macros go down, your food volume has to go up. And in order to do that, you have to really be careful about your food choices as far as, you know, increasing your vegetables. A ton of veggies is not a lot of macros. So you can get really get a huge bang for your buck um, if you add stuff like that in. Uh, the more you can eat, the fuller you're going to feel. I had a particular client where her goal was fat loss and she is a picky eater. She doesn't like vegetables. So it was, it was a real struggle. And so the way that she was filling her macros, she was hungry a lot. Her energy was down mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't really working for her. So increasing those veggies and the quality of her food definitely gave her more energy and she didn't feel like she was hungry all the time. If you're training and you're, you're feeling hungry, it's not a great feeling. So the more quality food, the more volume you can get, the better. Also along with that is when you're in a calorie deficit and you're still training, sleep is huge. Hydration is huge. You know, it's not just about food when you're trying to balance your energy. It's getting enough sleep at night, making sure that you're, you know, fully hydrated and, and that'll help a lot too. Um, I see a lot of people make mistakes like trying to fill up, so to speak, on diet sodas because there's no calories. So they get those low calorie, high caffeinated drinks. But again, that's really short lived. The more caffeine you have in you, the more dehydrated you're going to be. So it really just becomes a downward spiral as far as your energy. Um, you really got to make smart choices with that when you're trying to still train and, and create a, a calorie deficit.